Welcome, friends, to the first gameplay episode of Inquisitor. We are beginning our journey as Inquisitor Vanth, along with his retinue, Zed, Matt, and Lurk, our Ogren, and we are stuck inside of a city. And I am excited because this is one of the very first times I'm getting to use the entire city loadout. And I'm really interested to see how well we can hold off an offensive attack from the noble houses here. Why are Vanth and Zed currently wounded and running? Where? Oh, there you are. Okay. What is that? Pickle? Or is it Prickle? I think it's Prickle. Prickle the Pickle? Pickle Prickle? I don't know if you want a Prickle that pickles you. Or a Pickle that prickles you. That's an easy kill for Vanth. All right. <laughs> we'll take that auto pistol. And uh, Zed, how bad? Ooh, 15 hours. Let's get you patched up as quick as we can. So why don't you make it home? I will say, I do love this city map in a ravine. I wasn't expecting all the streets going through the mountain, but I am very, very intrigued to find out where the uh, ancient danger is going to be and uh, all the extra things. Like, my nerves are, I excavate into it, and then it's just a nightmare. But... A lot of that city map is going to be overlaid into all the cave systems and the uh, general construction of the entire map. So I'm really intrigued to see how this map pans out. We do need to get ourselves some proper food and I think we'll just start with some easy going rice. We'll start with something that lasts a long time, is quick to grow, and everyone can eat dry. Mostly Lurk can eat it dry. I don't think he'll mind. It's tasty nosh at that point. Zed is got a minor infection, but other than that, she will make it through this. Freshly carved out mountain. Everything's looking good. Let's start by building up the uh, marble room, right? Mar no, well, not marble, but stone. Well, everything here is marble anyway, so it doesn't really matter. But we're going to start making a stone carving room. We have to not use all the steel because I know someone in the comments will complain to me. Muggsy, why are you using all your steel to build a structure? I'm working on it. <laughs> uh, I'm sorry. No, I'm not. <laughs> Let's get uh, three blocks going and we'll do one just in case we run out. To make things a bit more secure, we are going to get rid of a ton of the roofing. And then we're going to have Lurk explore the entirety of everything here. We got a cool cape. That's nifty. Uh, sure, heavy fur cape. Let's take that uh, at some point. It'll at least get, keep one character warm for a while, and I'm okay with that. Ooh, a book and six advanced components. That is a steal. That is an amazing steal. I wonder if Lurk will find anything else out. Super good. Uh, Sir, I learned this from the Space Marines. If you don't have a door, make a door. As long as it doesn't lead to an empty room, Lurk. Oh, shit. Sometimes I wonder what goes through my head. A psychic attuner, eight components... The silver's nice. Don't need that. Don't need the corpse, especially when that's rotting. All in all, we got some really nice loot. And I am super pleased. But we do need to start some research. So, I'm thinking we're going to start with solar panels and batteries. And that's pretty much what we're going to rely on for power for the longest of time. Because I am very cheap. And I don't think I've found a single geothermal generator spot on this map at all yet so we'll figure it out but this is where our kitchen's going to be and i think a really tight-knit spot initially for some things is going to work wonders for us 
And maybe in the future, we will change ourselves over to using nutrient paste. Our faction will just be called Inquisitor Vanth unless somebody comes up with something better. And we will do Operation Post 1 unless somebody comes up with something better. We also found two sentry guns, or uh, two sentry turrets. <laughs> I swear I play this game. Uh, and we will utilize them as two point defense turrets inside the base. And we'll kind of build our cover system around that. Roof collapse. Ooh, why is Matt? Did Matt get hit by the roof? Crushed fresh. Matt got hit by the roof. That is pretty nasty, Matthew. Uh, we should take care of that now. That is that is pretty brutal. Yeah, you go patch that up. Hey! <laughs> that is a member of an Inquisitor's retinue. Now I want to know more about Matt. I think I know who this week's story mode is going to be about. Psychic Attuner, the brain implant interface with parts of the brain is... <laughs> Uh, psychic sensitizer increases sensitivity dampener, which blocks all psychic sensitivity or psychic heat sink. Oh, so it can do multiple things. That is really busted. That's going to go into Vanth. Vanth has psychic powers. We just don't talk about it. <laughs> we did get batteries researched. And now that we have batteries built up, we can start putting in the solar panels so let's get them right out in this big old blazing desert sun and i think four should be good for now yeah and we will do the new hidden uh conduits i miss a lot of mods like i don't like the way that tynan did the new lamps i miss the way that the wall lamps did with the wall light mod i think that was the perfect way to do the wall lights and the way that Tynan and crew uh, coated these wall lamps pisses me off. <laughs> I'm grateful for all the work that Tynan and crew does. Uh, but holy shit, the way that they link to the walls. Let me know if, you, if you're having trouble with them too. Because I cannot stand trying to set up the wall lights. It takes way too long. I cut out like five minutes of footage. Me trying to tinker with the goddamn light setup. We do finally have a major problem. And it's a bug hive the size of which I have never, ever, ever, ever seen before. And it has been getting astronomically out of control. And I do not have the means <laughs> to, to deal with it right at this moment. And it just keeps getting bigger. A bug hive has reproduced itself twice. And that's where the ancient danger was. And it just keeps growing. I don't think I've ever seen this happen in a RimWorld series before. So let's clear up some of this base. Let's remove the roofs of as much area as we can. Then start dismantling all the floors except for the roads. I want to keep the roads simply for the aesthetic. Then we will start dismantling the buildings to the south and as much flooring as we can for as many resources as possible. Then start clearing the mountain of the north and build houses for everybody to get everyone out of the tents. And it just keeps getting bigger. But they're digging, they're mining steel for me. They're mining steel for me that will just end up sitting there because it's unclaimed. I don't have any way physically to get in there and burn all of them out because there are so many. But if I can, I will be excited. However, in the meantime, I am absolutely going to build myself a kill tunnel. And I don't care what anybody says. I don't care if it's unsportsmanlike. I don't care if it doesn't look good. I am going to ensure that my people are defended because I need the assurance. <laughs> and our first house is good. Vanth and Zed have become lovers. We are dating our subordinates now. It's RimWorld. I wouldn't really put it to a story element. Uh, I think I'll just let Vanth and Zed have their relationship I've cut off their um, possibility for pregnancy. They're crushing themselves, which is pretty nice. 
If they keep that up, maybe they kill themselves. I doubt it's going to happen, but we'll get there. So yeah, Vanth and Zed are doing the dirty, but we're going to keep them from potentially having kids. We also got Violet. She was a just come and join us kid, so we let her join. She's a 14-year-old scout, and we are going to utilize her as much as we can. Hopefully, we can keep her alive, and she becomes another member of the retinue. Donner, please, please don't be a dumb dog and get yourself killed by our spike traps. Uh, where door? No. Um, yeah, there, 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 there. Uh, there and then we just repeat the process right I'm so bad at building these because I do not build them often enough and now that our dog is deciding he's going to run oh wait she sorry she is deciding that she's going to run her way through and get herself killed and I don't really want a dog to die right now it's tough when a dog dies when a loved pet dies and I don't want that to happen right now this early before the first year comes to a close <laughs> so we're gonna build this out a little bit more we're gonna build some some doors and then i will worry about all of the um what do you call it uh <sighs> home zoning oh daughter you are such a lucky husky oh you are such a lucky husky leave it to a husky to figure out how to just step over traps gently, carefully, beautifully, and just be a happy dork. I love huskies. I have a husky German Shepherd, and she is just as stupid as Donner is right now. So let's just keep Donner to this, to this space here. We'll expand that out a little bit more, and we'll call that good. And everything is coming up us right now. I'm replacing all the concrete traps with marble traps because I have a ridiculous amount of marble that I will probably burn out later down the line, and I will regret doing this. But right now, it's a really good carking idea, and I'm going to use it. You can't stop me. Man, that fire's getting out of control, huh? It's burning up a lot of wood. It's not going to burn the bugs out because I'm in a desert biome. What do we got for visitors? Okay, three people. An ogren. Nice. Ryoko. All right. Please get off the dog. Thank you. Don't stand on my dog again. Otherwise, I will kill the three of you. I'm very... <laughs> I am very protective of this dog right now. I do not want this dog to die. I need to have this dog survive. That's it. Oh, look. The cow's bleeding out because the cow died to the spike traps. That's good to know. What are you... What are you Son of a bitch. Of course the pig people come out of nowhere and piss off this hive. Let's close off the doors. Nobody can get outside. Uh, hopefully. Yeah, those bugs are going to come right for us, aren't they? Yep. All right, it's time to mount up the only possible defense we have. And that is Inquisitor Vanth in the doorway with... His power sword holding the line with Lurk, Matt, Zed, and Violet all holding the line behind him. Vanth, buddy, get up there and do some work with your heavy bolt pistol and we will see how things go beyond that. Zed, good work. All right, we're doing good. We're doing good. We're doing good. This is this is the only reason we're surviving this is for the sheer fact that we have the firepower and Vanth using the power sword. Yep, you cheer, buddy. Great job. Um, so far, so good. So far, so good. They can only get so far. They can only get so close. But this is literally going to come down to Vanth not going down. If Vanth goes down because of the Mega Spiders, that's when we get into big trouble. But so far, he is holding his own. Yes. Yes. Come lurk, you son of a bitch. <laughs> Not the time to go on a food binge. I need you here. 
God damn it, you bastard. Violet took a hit. Vantha's taken some hits. They are now outside. Uh, the turrets are doing their job. Okay, let's hold the line here for now. Matthew's taking some hits. Uh, how are we doing? How are we doing, Vanth? Can I get you off the line there? Yes, I can. Vanth, go get that Mega Scarab. Let's start clearing them out. Please, nobody die. All because Lurk decided to go stuff his goddamn ogre in face. Uh, Violet's taking cover on the inside. Good for her. Great. Vanth is just chucking the sword between himself. Uh, I miss having Search and Destroy. I can tell you that much right now. So far, everyone's wounded. But that's it. All is quiet. All is quiet. We managed to save the day. It would not have gone that south if Lurk had not gone on a flip flapping food binge. I am so mad at my Ogren right now. <laughs> Remember in episode one how patient Vanth was with Lurk? That patience is now gone. The patience no longer exists. The patience is now Lurk. You were supposed to hold the line. You didn't hold the line. I'm going to have trouble trusting you now. All the meanwhile, we're going to go back to planting our cactus field and hopefully getting everybody back up. We could go and finish off the hive right now, but I feel like we're not in a position to do that. There's still bugs there, and Lurk is still on a food binge. So maybe we wait. Maybe it won't get out of control like it did. And it just reproduced itself. I saw that. Yes, I know down in the comments somebody's going to say, you put your foot in your mouth. But listen to me. Maybe. Just maybe. It doesn't get as out of control as it has and as it will. We'll be fine. We got this. I think. Maybe. Maybe. We should be good. To be honest, we really should be good in the end. With food reserves being on max, thanks to the amount of insects that we have, all we need to do now is get our base finalized, such as building our uh, ideology room, because that's going to be one of our most important things right now, is just getting this nice ideology room out of the way. Well, this just keeps getting further and further out of my control to the point where um, we're going to need to have more help from a, a group of allies at some point. And holy shit, that wood burn went far. I'm not sure I'm too keen on that. That's like opened up right to our backside. Oh, it just gets worse. It just gets worse. Look. <laughs> It's It's been a handful of days. It's like we never even did anything. Now's the time to start clearing the floor. Vanth, why are you running? Why are you a... Oh, God damn it, Donner. Vanth, why did you go to save Donner? Donner, why were you up here? This is, this is an even bigger question is why was Donner up here? I can't save her. I cannot save Donner. She's going to end up dying. That was just, I couldn't, I couldn't do anything about that. And of course, Donner dies and Matt gets a trait. Yes, heavy sleeper makes sense, but hard worker would make even more sense as someone who is a part of the Imperium, who's a part of an Inquisitor's retinue. He's just going to drown himself in work and work even harder. We will rescue Donner. Whether it is tonight or tomorrow night, all the bugs are asleep. It is tonight. We are going to get Donner. We are going to bury Donner. And we are going to pretend that all of this is just, it's okay. It's okay. It's a, it is a very upsetting moment because I didn't want Donner to die. And then she did a dumb. And now we have to bury Donner. Okay. Matt. We will do a prayer. But you know what I notice here? I notice a solution to our problems. 
Every good rim worlder knows exactly what that solution is. And it's staring us in the face in the form of allies that have nothing of value to me. So do I care if they die in a bug raid? No. No, I do not. They are my cannon fodder, so I can take out this bug hive as revenge for Donner. They just killed themselves with another roof collapse. Perfect. The less of you there are, the better my life is. There we go, Vanth. Piss them off. Now run. Now run. One of the only good reasons to me not having uh, the the pistol uh, running gun mod. <laughs> the pistol running gun mod. <laughs> yes, the running gun mod. Okay. Vanth, we are going to have to deal with all of the destruction that the base is going to come under. We need to be okay with losing valuable pieces of the base to take out this bug hive. To kill the bastard bugs that destroyed Donner and killed her. For democra- Wait, wrong game. For the Imperium. <laughs> For Donner. And we will make Terra proud. Super Terra will be proud of us. For our duty today the bugs are defeated even though right now there's still so many of them alive in my base let's crush all of their hives oh look hey uh, gray shrew I'm not gonna worry about you you didn't look that great off the top of the list anyways hives are almost dead I think our allies are pretty much all dead there is still a lot of bugs but never fear, the agents of the Inquisition are here. He's a beast run. Look at that. I like that. It's pretty cool, those big-ass horns. I could easily see why beastmen are not liked. I've never read much about beastmen in the mutant lore uh, of 40k, of the accepted mut mutated uh, humanoids. But uh, that's pretty cool. I like that. Big horns. The final defense of our base, the final eradication of all the bugs within our home same tactic vanth holds the door and everybody else shoots over his shoulders and tries not to shoot him in the back of the head thank god it's not gonna happen not today not now we've got it under control lurk may go on another food binge or violet may go on a binge or something everyone is in low spirits right now if we can kill all the bugs, we can come out of this relatively unscathed, save just losing donor. And in the end, I think we're gonna be just fine. There we go. Last of the bugs coming our way. There's still so many. These guys practically did nothing except just die and at least drop medicine for me. Some gold. We've got some pretty good resources to pick through, I will say that much. So maybe they were worth keeping around, but we're not going to tell them that. They died for the best possible cause. And this fight is going on forever, so I think what's going to happen here is after we push in, I'm going to fast forward everything just a little bit. See? As I said, it all panned out in the end in our favor, and everyone can go about their business. We've got some cows we can eat. We've got some people we can let bleed out and pretend that they don't really exist, so I don't have to worry about saving them. We'll eat their food while they're bleeding out. We'll take their medicine, and we will be good in the end, exactly as it should be. We have 700 extra steel, gray shrew, malnutrition, you're going to die, it's okay. Uh, you, you are not that good, sorry. Human farm, aquaponic worker, thick skin, I'm okay with losing you. Outlanders from vo voyeurism, why are you doing this? I just finished one big fight, just let my people rest. I've got a kid who's on R&R. Matt, take cover somewhere. They're coming from three separate angles. Okay. 
Vanth, let's pull you back, and Lurk is ready to go. Let's get stuck in a fight and take these guys out. I think with just the three boys, we should be good. Yeah, there we go. Down they go on the run. Come over to the back entrance of the tunnel where there is zero coverage because we haven't rebuilt our spike traps yet because we've been busy cleaning up. I have to build Donner a brand new... Oh, you bastards! I have to build Donner a brand new uh, tomb as well. Uh, Penny Slick. All right, it's Nimble Psychopath. Shame. She would have been good. Uh, let's go, quick. We have no turrets because the bugs killed our turrets, so... Oh, you bastard. You bastard throwing grenades at my houses. Can we kill them faster, please? Thank you. Of course, they were not close enough because they had short-range weapons. Oh, of course. Can we take out the pits? Is this what suffering from success looks like? The biggest pile of rot stink you could ever come across? <laughs> I think this is what suffering success looks like. We have accepted the deserter. It is time to make friends with the enemies of our enemy and unite this world under Imperium's, under the Imperium's rule. So what is a Hussar? Maybe the Hussars are the paladins that the king spoke of, these juiced up warriors that go out and fight demonic uh, incursions. Zed is down, that's not good. Uh, okay. The Empire kidnap who they can and leave. You're not here to kidnap. You're here to kill Peskindos. Pens Penskidos. Pes 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 Pesnectos. Pesky Nectos. Pesky Nectos. That's his name right now. Pesky Nectos. Now that I know what his name is going forward, I'll change it eventually. We need to make sure that Zed does not get kidnapped. Vanth, get her. Yes. Save your woman, who is also one of the key members of your retinue. We should not be fraternizing. God damn it, it's another raid. We've barely been a day, and it's another freaking raid. That's not true, Muggsy. I just looked back at the day. It's almost been 10 days, and we're finally getting a raid. A raid of pig people. And they're busting down our walls. But I can tell you what, this raid of pig people feels like it has not been that far of a day we did recruit that survivor who was crawling on the ground uh i just really wasn't that important i didn't think of it uh of of covering it but we did recruit her we did save her we did recruit her uh and so she's a part of our retinue now for the moment until she dies and she's actually proven to be rather good she is not a hussar though she is a baseliner so maybe not all paladins are hussars. Maybe there's a special rank of paladin that turns them into a hussar and makes them these even more uh, insane, deadly warriors. Ooh, we're pulling Nutriamine out of that. That is not bad at all. Uh, good work, good work. Take them out, take them out. Everybody on range fire. Good job. So far, so good. We can pick up a few key things like the Nutriamine and the Akatran Lens. Those would both be solid for us. It was finally time to submit to the greatness of nutrient paste. I no longer need my people cooking meals. That is for the weak. That is for the cowardly. We do not cook meals. We eat nutrient paste with a straw and a spoon and we have all the VAT stuff organized or purchased. So let's let's go ahead and get ourselves a full VAT pipe network. There we are. <laughs> I couldn't find it for the life of me. Let's get ourselves a full VAT network going. So we no longer have to worry about cooked meals. And look at that. The power of editing, voila, we're done. Get ourselves a little quarry built up and start having a new lovers. Lurk in Pelagia. I... 
I don't know how that works. Um, is it like the Hulk situation? Like, the reason the Hulk is always mad is because it doesn't grow with him? We'll just, uh, we'll just ignore baby. <laughs> Matt, I have some fantastic work for you to do. It's simple, it's easy, and it will make everyone happy, including pesky neck, toes, and violet. Burn the bodies. Let's get rid of all the corpses here and ensure that none of them exist any longer. Life will be perfect when the bodies are burned away with Molotov cocktails. That's how we get rid of corpse piles, my friend. The economic way, the best way, the American way. <laughs> Where's Sam Eagle when I need him? Jeez. But with that done, I think it is finally time to start naming our, uh, where are we? Smoke leaf withdrawal, you pain in the ass, Violet. <laughs> I think it is time for us to do uh, some very important things. We have our leader. We have our morale personnel. We need to have a leader speech first off. Then I think it's time to get our commissar. That is one of the easier things for us to do to make people happy. And I think that role best goes to Matt because if Lurk becomes a commissar I think his only focus will be getting one of them fancy hats and if he gets one of them fancy hats it might be worrisome now commissar is just a rank it's not really meaning that he's a member of the commissariat um, it's just a role that I slipped up on renaming as a uh, as a personalized role. So we'll probably edit that the next time we get the ideology built up. So we've got Violet, her own bed. Uh, pesky neck toes is sharing a bed with Lurk and Pelagia. And I, I don't want to look and accidentally catch them doing the business because I'm going to, I'm going to be worried. I'm going to be worried. But we are building our warehouse. That's getting built up nice and easy. And everything is coming together. So thank you, everybody, for joining me in the very first uh, gameplay advance episode of uh, RimWorld 40K Inquisitor. Shout out to the patrons. Thank you so much for supporting on Patreon. You too can support on Patreon by heading down in the description below. There's a link there. Thank you to the channel members for supporting as well. You guys are amazing. And... You too can become a channel member and support that way. You can also support for free by hitting like, subscribe, hitting the bell notification, commenting. I appreciate you guys' time. I appreciate you being here. And I hope you all have a wonderful rest of the day. And I look forward to seeing you guys in this week's animated episode, the story episode. See you then, guys. Peace.